Welcome back to the channel, back to the shop. In the shop today, I have got spare parts. Now, spare parts is not normally here. It's usually at the real racing shop, and Mark and James have been getting it done. But it is here so that I can get her to actually run. Hopefully, we're going to finally hear this thing fire up. Before I get to that, I just got to show you guys that this thing is now painted. It's been a bunch of different colors its entire life. James has got the car painted, and it looks phenomenal. He did a great job, man. I mean, it is 100% a spare parts paint job. It looks maybe like a tractor or something. But hey, man, finally, it is all one color, and we are super stoked. James got this thing all figured out. And let me show you how it went. What's up, guys? I have been missing in action for a little while. I'm out here at the row racing shop, row races, and I'm going to do a little work on the car. We got a project going on today, something I can work on. Not going to turn nuts and bolts, nothing to get it running, but maybe a little bit to sweeten her up a little bit. Quick trip here. I'm not going to get it running this week, but what I am going to do is paint it. I'm going to make a little paint booth inside the shop here, and we're going to put some of that turbo big jet spray <laughs> on it, get it taped up, get the paint booth made. See what we got. Let's get it unloaded first. We got the CRX in the shop. Plan is this week, gonna get her painted. I got a few things I wanna get done over the next couple of nights. I don't know the progression of how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna have it painted. A lot in the works for the car. We got some parts ordered, got some parts donated, got some parts being worked on. Uh, so that's all great news. And when it goes down, we're, we're gonna take it down to Wilmington, let B take a look at it too. Put his little finishing touches on it. Gonna make some sort of paint booth out of stuff I got laying around here. I got some plastic and stuff. I don't know, I'll make it work. Just talked to B, Mark, over the last couple days, day or two, and the car's headed down to Wilmington in three days. He's unbeknownst to B that it's being painted, and he's asking me to get some footage when I pick it up. So, perfect. Got it pretty much wrapped. I've, I've never painted a car. I pretty much got everything in plastic that I think needs to be wrapped up, taped off, to not get overspray all over it. But uh, I've still got to make this paint booth. I'm gonna go around the shop here and figure out what I can make to build a booth and get this, uh, build a booth and get this plastic covering uh, some sort of little cave. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna build a booth. I have no idea out of what materials, but there's plenty in here. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. Hundred thousand in the safe, couple thousand in the drain, in the drain. Get paid, little shorty, get paid. No, I'm always on my grind, 24 for seven days. I love building forts as a kid and this was just about it. <laughs> so I pretty much just did the plastic deal, built a little cave, some support, some tape, and this is the result. Disclaimer was I've never painted a car. Uh, ventilation, fans, headroom, you know, how to lay down paint. Oh, uh, we're gonna get it painted.
didn't have a problem with my boots sticking to the plastic. So I guess I'm pleased with how it turned out. Oh, that's not it. Ooh, buddy! What'd you think, buddy? What'd you think, buddy? Not a perfect job by any means. By any means. I'm happy with it. I know Mark's gonna be happy with it. It's all one color. It went from being so many colors. There's teal, red, gray. Found here. Purple. It's purple under there. Dude. So we got a factory blue hood. Yeah, it is. This side, actually, just a little bit of primer he sanded down to, and then some more teal. We're gonna leave the dirt down there when he sands so that way it's extra grit. To somewhat of a finished product. Car's definitely got its flaws. No Bondo, very little sandpaper, some mineral spirits, and some big cans of spray paint. By no means is it perfect, but spare parts was never meant to be perfect. This is a budget build, and we did a budget paint job. Uh, a lot of dense dings, a lot of, a lot of scratches still, a lot of, but it's all one color, and we are happy. I'm happy with it. One step closer to what we want it to be. Gonna head down to Wilmington, give me a quick reveal uh, of the, the new color and uh, hopefully he can get it running. What's going on today, guys? Out here at James's shop today. Ooh. Came out today because he took spare parts from me to do something to it. Didn't really tell me what he was doing. Mainly he said he was getting it because he's carrying it to Wilmington, to B. B's gonna help get this thing running for us, which super excited about that. So we can go to the track. Cold out here today. Let's grab these parts that I brought and uh, head in there. Oh yeah, this is the old daily. Five speed all wheel drive life. Hey bro, what are you doing today? <laughs> camera. Oh, shit. Dude, it's black. <laughs> oh, look at it. It looked like the taggy kind. Oh, wow, dude. Well, that. What you think? That looks good, man. <laughs> it looks like spare parts got painted. It is, it is all black, shiny black too. Looks like I used spare paint. <laughs> <laughs> it, is def it is definitely the spare parts paint job, man. Love it. Great work. You build a paint booth in here or something? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're here, let me drop this down real quick. Wow, it's all one color. I wasn't expecting that, I didn't know that. I didn't even know it was gonna be in here. It was great in here, especially part beside that, huh? Let's go grab the rest of this stuff and then I guess we're gonna plan on just getting it loaded up. I don't really know the game plan other than getting it on the trailer and get ready for Wilmington, but let's go.
And that status all loaded up on the trailer, ready to head to Wilmington. Can't wait, B's gonna be able to get it in the shop, work his magic on it, sprinkle some ingenuity of his own in it and get it ready for us. It's cold. Uh, ah. uh, picked the car up from row racing about a week ago. Had a little deadline, drop it off to B. I'm here in Wilmington, and let's see if we can't catch him before he comes out and get a reaction. <laughs> That's cool. At least it looks better. Hell yeah. That's uh, cool. Is it the same Rust Oleum stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's a shit job. I mean, it's black though. It's, it's all car. black. <laughs> it's a race car. It's black though. That's cool. It looks a whole lot better, man. Don't hit my bricks over there. I ain't got much of a break. <laughs> you see, break. <laughs> you ready? that they finally got this car painted that is all black and all one color for us, man. I'm gonna try to get this thing to run for these guys. There's just some wiring I need to go over and make sure that everything's right and hopefully we get it to fire up. Won't be this episode, so check us out on the next episode. Until we see you on that one, stay man. See what's figure figure out. Ex <laughs> oh, hey, it's cold. In the shit. Blah, in here. The <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Firing and stuff. On <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Uh, ah. uh, I look behind me. Chris Mark. It's not a 10 millimeter millimeter, but you know, I, did, I didn't take any of this off. It, it just fell off some somewhere. I don't know what to say. I think that's it, dude. I think that's it. I think we're all done. I think I think we're all done, buddy. <laughs>